I challenged myself to make not one, but three different YouTube short channels with AI. And for months I've been thinking about a video like this, but I just couldn't get it to work. 90% of the AI tools that are currently out there are just not good enough to do what I want. But on August 8th, I got beta access to a tool that changes all of that. And that's why I'll be creating three different kind of YouTube short channels within 24 hours. First, we need to define our niche. And trust me, there are so many niches out there. I will show you exactly how you can find the best one. Next up, we will be using AI to set up the basics of our channels. Next up, we'll be using one AI tool to find content for us because this is the most time consuming step. And finally, we'll be tweaking it a little bit to get the highest retention rate possible and also avoid copyright. But before we can start, we need to answer the most important question. What niche are we focusing on? If you choose the wrong niche, your channel either A doesn't get any views, B it won't get monetized in the first place, or C even worse it will get copyright striked. And we don't want to have that happen to us. So I did some research with Perplexity AI and ChatGPT and here's what I came up with. There are over 17 plus niches with hundreds of sub niches in them. And yeah. That doesn't make the process any easier at all. So to narrow it down, I set out these three criteria. The first one is from Daniel Bidden, and he says the following. If you pick something that you don't think you're going to want to work on for a while, chances are it's never going to succeed in the first place. And that's just a fact. He's right on that. If I don't like it in the first place, then why am I doing it anyways? So let's remove these eight niches from the list. The second criteria is viral potential. If the niche doesn't have this viral potential, then why are we doing it in the first place? Now, after analyzing some of the top shorts in each niche, I eliminated these four. The third criteria is it needs to be easy to find risk-free content. And after doing some research, I found out that movies and business, they are one, pretty hard to find without getting a virus if you want to download a movie. And two, they're very copyright sensitive. So those two are eliminated for the list also. That leaves us with sports, entertainment, and video games. Still, these niches are way too broad. So let's narrow it down even more. For entertainment, I chose drama slash celebrity. For sports, I choose basketball. And for video games, I choose live streamers that game online. These niches have viral potential. They are pretty risk-free if we apply our method for avoiding copyright and they have plenty of clips to choose from. Chapter two, let's use AI to build our channel. First up, I asked ChatGPT to come up with 20 different names for our channels. These are our results. Loving Legends, Epic Streamer Moments, and Hoop Loop. Next up, I used Midjourney to create the logos. Then I tried to create a banner using Canva, but I'm not that good at Canva. Then I used Photoshop, and trust me, don't overthink this. Just keep it stupidly simple. Now, here's where things get a bit tricky. You see, channels like these go through a tedious process. First, they have to sift through hours of content to find the right clip. Then they have to download that clip, edit it, and then post it. The biggest headache is actually finding good clips. For these three channels, that means that I have to stay up to date with all the celebrity drama that's currently out there. I have to make myself brain dead with watching every live streamer I know. And lastly, I have to watch all the NBA games that are playing, which I'm not even sure it's possible. I've done the math and all of that together is about 10 plus hours of just watching content and clipping it up. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have the time to do that. So I found this AI tool that's called Clip Anything and it will exactly solve a problem. What we can do with this tool is we can just import our content. We can type in a prompt for what we're looking for or we can simply ask it to compile all the funny moments. Then what it will do is it will use the AI to detect the visuals, face expression, text, but also whatever is going on on the screen. And then with that information, it finds the best clips that we have prompted. So that's exactly what I have been doing for all of my videos. I've just dumped them in there, prompted it, and now here are some of the results. I gotta catch him, I gotta catch him, I gotta catch him. B-52, we're heading westbound, right next to the Applebee's. I might need a spike strip. Nice, yeah. That's kind of like the, the ultimate compliment. Yes. So. Yeah, if dad slays, 
I don't slay too often, but sometimes I slay. Chapter three, tweaking our videos. Just like that, we already have our videos halfway done. But if I'm totally honest with you here, we cannot use this as of right now. The videos as they are right now are probably way too boring. They will get a low retention rate and also they are at risk of getting copyright striked. So we want to avoid it. And to do this, I have done some research. Trust me, it's easier than it seems, but you also shouldn't overlook it in some way. Now the way to solve this issue is we first download the clip from Opus Clip, then we put it into our editor. I'm using CapCut here because I find that the easiest editor to do this. Then we overlay it with a filter. We apply a few strategic things like a voiceover, from 11 apps, pretty easy to make. Then we add in some hooks. So for example, I done a hook right here where I say like, what's going on in this game? The GOAT LeBron saved USA in the last minute during this game against Germany. And next up, we can add in an arrow or a circle. Then we can also overlay it with some music and we also add in some transition. All in all, this makes our video a bit more unique and it might not fall under reuse content. Keep in mind, the more you edit it, the less risk you have. But as I'm testing this with three different channels, there's just no way I can do that for all of our clips. So I've edited all the shorts I've uploaded to YouTube and let's wait a few days to see what the results are. Three days later. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a couple of days and let's see the results. So our first channel, Laughing Legends, let's see how it performed. Right off the bat, I see we have 560 views. The only downside is we have the line of death. This pretty much means our short has died. What can happen is they can give us like another boost like they did right here. And then it can get another wave. Um, but as long as the engagement rate is pretty good. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, so this short wasn't good enough to get recommended by the algorithm. As you can see, we have an average view duration of 16 seconds on a 55 second short. So that's not very good. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, this one has a little bit more views. We have 605 views, but this one also has the line of death. So I'm hoping it can still get picked up by the algorithm. But if we take a look at the engagement rate, we have 63% so that's a lot higher. I think this can still get recommended but we only have one short on each channel so we don't have a lot of data to go with. Now let's take a look at the last short that I've made and see if these results are any better. So this one has a little bit of a different graph. As you can see we're having 500 views and it's still getting views right now. So this one hasn't died just yet although it might have right here but it's gradually getting views. So this one has still potential. If we take a look at the engagement rate, we see we have a 52% engagement rate, which isn't that great. We're aiming for like 80% to get recommended by the algorithm, but all in all, not too bad. If you were to do this consistently, then you can definitely get some results. The issue with this experiment is that we only have one short for each channel. That doesn't give us a lot of data to go with. Let me just pause myself right there because I continued uploading after I recorded this video and this is our second video and it is getting 14k views. If we take a look down here, we can see the average view duration is quite high. Then on our other channel, I continued uploading as well. We have 10k views right there. Third video, 10k views as well. Last video, 2k views and it's still doing pretty good. So. So I'm thinking of doing this channel for at least 30 days to see if we can get any results. If you want me to test it out, let me know in the comments down below and I will create that video for you.